Artisan Threads Candy Floss Dyes using food colouring very similar to Kool-Aid but without the sugar. Inside the pack is full instructions for using the candy floss dyes which is safe and easy to do and actually was trialled on my children. Each little pot is um, filled with one of the, the colours of dye. These are, um, are very, very concentrated and the, you need to measure with the little blue spoon provided into a larger container that will carry half a litre of water. You can see here there's the water ready and we are going to measure one of the colours into the water. Just dump it in. And we can then pop this into a container to hold as a stock dye. If it's going to be held for any length of time, a tablespoon of vinegar into your stock dye will actually keep it for much longer. You won't get a mould on top and then store it in a dark cupboard. Here is my um, sketchbook where the dyes have been um, tested on various types of protein fibres uh, and here you see it being demonstrated a cotton bud dipped into one of the dyes and you can see the colour that um, relates to the swatch on the page. Now using the cotton buds is a very easy way of demonstrating the colours that are actually in the die kit itself and they're ideal to paint with on your sketchbook to keep a record of what dyeing or mixing of colours you have actually done and as you can see on my sketchbook it is um, I've washed the dyes over wet pages allowed them to bleed so that I can see how dyes might actually blend with each other and the range of colours that I can produce. And as we go through the sketchbook you can see the various colours that have been attained and here we see the cotton buds yet again where I've mixed colours to gain a different green or a different red uh, or a more hotter orange than the straight dyes that are actually in, contained in the sachets. And there you can see how they actually refer to the cotton buds in the sketchbook. The green in the dye kit is actually more turquoise. Um, although a very beautiful colour, it actually is not really um, a good green or forest green or grass green and to attain a very good green you actually mix two drops of yellow and here we see it going into a little container to two one drop of green and this will provide you with a very very nice green that is is more green than actually the one that is in the book and here you can see the green actually going on the page if it is not green enough for you you have always the option to add more yellow and you can then go to a yellow green rather than a, a blue green and here you can see Stephanie adding more yellow to the dye pot and experimenting with 
adding more yellow. And there you go. We're getting more green. And this you can carry on so that you're having very little green, uh, the, the turquoise green that's in the kit, and more yellow, and you can get quite an acid green. But this kit is designed to play with. It's to have fun and mix colour and, and turn your fibre into a rainbow. <laughs>